Welcome back. Lewis Panzer, Executive Director of North Carolina's 811, is here answering your questions about safe digging. This person asks, do I need to call 811 before planting a garden near my septic system? Yeah, any, any kind of excavation that you're going to do, there are some exemptions for private property, um, but you know, there's also uh, lines that could be running near your septic. So again, we just recommend people contact no matter what kind of excavation they're going to do, um, you know, especially around the perimeter, but even in areas where it could be around your septic as well. All right, this person says, the three times I've used 811, the contractors came out one to two days late to mark my lines. Is that normal? So um, one of the things we were discussing there is that we, we take about two and a half million requests a year. This is our super busiest time and there's a lot of work happening right now with new fiber going in to the ground especially. And there are situations where it could be delayed. They should communicate that to you. Um, if they're not going to be able to meet the three full business days, they will reach out um, to communicate that to you. Um, so we have, you know, we, it, like I said, we, we don't actually do the marks at NC811, but I know the utilities strive to get that work done is within those three full days. All right, this person says, if you've had someone come out to evaluate a location of utilities before, do you ever need to do that again? Absolutely, because one of the things we were just saying is there's so much going in even today in the front easements, a lot of fiber being uh, delivered to people's homes. Um, things could have changed in terms of uh, other facilities that were placed. Um, really, any time you're going to excavate, uh, you know, especially if there's been a big long gap in there, uh, you should definitely take advantage of, of making that free call and getting someone to come out and let you know where those lines are in relation to your work. All right, this is an interesting question. What happens if the location is not accurate, that they mark it and it's not accurate? So yeah, if you if you get that in, happening, so you provided your address, they come out, they didn't mark the area, reach back out to NC811 so that we can make that correction. We'll reissue that ticket um, out with the corrected information. Um, we do, when we ask for your information on the phone, we will read that back to you and confirm everything and make sure that everything was correct uh, with what was told to us. A simple way to do a ticket as well is a single address ticket app, again, from that application, um, which you would designate your, your address and it would show the parcel and you would be um, able to do it that way as well. No, but I guess what I mean is what happens if they come out and they mark something, but it's not accurate and like it's a foot off or something like that. I see. I got you. So if the if the marks are not accurate and you uh, let's say you do damage something, um, you know, you want to make sure to document what what's happened. So it's always a good idea. Take a picture of where those marks are on the ground before you dig, just in case that would happen. Um, there are some cases where the location could have been mismarked. Um, that does, you know, it does exist. Again, um, they use pretty good technology to, to latch on and get uh, that done. But remember that there's a tolerance zone around those marks as well. So you want to make sure to give 24 inches on either side of those marks and then dig, hand dig to expose the facility if you're working right there with it. So there is a little margin of error there of two feet on either side of those marks. Uh, but again, you know, uh, if those marks are off and you were to hit it, you want to make sure that you've documented where those marks were originally before you started digging. Okay, really quick, 30 seconds. Does 811 locate propane lines? So if, if it's a private line on your facility that was installed with a tank that's not encroaching on a right of way, you'll probably need to contact a private line locator unless that propane is coming in through an easement. Um, or in the right of way where someone else is delivering that service to you, like a distribution gas line, for example. If it's all private and contained on there, you'll need to contact a private line locator to know exactly where that is. Okay, great. Great information. Thank you so much. We want everyone to be safe. If you missed any of today's Q&A, just head to our website, click in the Two Wants to Know section.